Hey there, this is Phantom Celebi, and welcome to another vlog. Or, I guess, my vlog of maybe three vlogs. I mean, I don't know. I don't do vlogs very often. I'm not exactly a confident person. But, <laughs> what I am confident about is my intuition. I was totally right about Nick. Nikocado Avocado is scum. The purest of scum. The one who thinks he's always right. He is scum. And in celebration of basically Stephanie owning this scum, I'ma eat. <laughs> so, heads up. I'm not really into the mukbang thing. Mainly because of an insecurity thing. I think to myself, I feel so incredibly awkward having people watch me eat. But I figured, hey, if they can do it, I can do it. <laughs> so, I made a big old thing of ramen. Um, ramen's pretty easy to get where I live. Like, I live in New York, and there's, like, ramen everywhere. Like, full-on any Asian brand you can think of ramen, not just Top Ramen. Um, like, there's Asian markets pretty much everywhere where I live, so... Ramen. <laughs> Not to say that top ramen's bad, because, I mean, that's what a lot of people use as a base for most ramens. I just, like, I was just saying, a lot of places where I live, they have, um, they have all these incredible options for ramen, not just top ramen. This is my, uh, chopsticks. Got it in Chinatown. They're awesome chopsticks because, like, they have the Year of the Rabbit on it, which is my year in the Chinese Zodiac. But yeah, like, I was totally thrilled when I saw that Stephanie was so out there and just letting it all out. Because, I don't know, I've seen some of her videos now, after the whole thing. And it seems like, based off of her history, because I'm trying to see if she had any history of drama before making a video. I didn't just want to make a video and just assume something about someone, and it turns out that they're a complete liar. It seems from the very beginning that Stephanie Sue is very much a cinnamon roll. Like, literally, no joke. If you go as far back in her videos, there's nothing negative whatsoever. So, I could tell right away that Nick is a liar. <laughs> because there are so many negative things on his channel. And the thing is, is like, I wanted to trust him after the Trisha Paytas thing. <laughs> Got ramen on me. But, like, I had a sneaking suspicion that Trisha was right about him. And I didn't say anything because she was, you know, she was like, okay, well, I'm trying to forgive and forget type thing. But, no joke. I was just like... There is something unsettling about this guy. There is just something so wrong about him. And the fact is, everybody around him is incredibly uncomfortable with him. I mean, not only that, but it turns out he... <laughs> he ghosted someone for not wanting to sleep with him. Like, what kind of disgusting person does that? Like, if you were okay with them in front of their face... Why would you, why would you do that? I mean, if you're upfront with saying that you don't want to have anything other than a romantic relationship with somebody or even just a fling, maybe that gives the person more of a better understanding. But no joke, this guy is so incredibly disgusting that he shamed someone and is blackmailing them. Like how incredibly disgusting of a person can you possibly be? Eating. <laughs> I mean, no joke. I should get myself, like, one of those vlogging cameras, because, like, my cell phone's a terrible camera for this type of stuff. <laughs> Personally, I don't even get how the mukbanger people do this. I mean, I do, I do think they take breaks and drink water and all that, but, God, this is a lot of food. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, if you're going to try to uh, defame someone 
this is what I was saying in my original video. I was like, why would he even try to do that? Why would he try to lie about stuff like that? And no joke, I, I don't know, I can t definitely tell based on the photos he posted that they were totally different times. Because one thing about photos that is very telling is the photos will show you different transitioning and lighting. So, obviously, the areas where Nick were in were much brighter when he was taking those photos. So, my guess is the photo that he took of her lighting setup was either before the mukbang... I, I said this after the mukbang, or mukbang. How do you pronounce that? I think it's mukbang. Um, but yeah, like, I think it was either after the mukbang that he took the photo, or before, of Stephanie. Because... She already had this sort of look on her face, like, what the heck is going on? And then, like, when she was talking about feeling uncomfortable because he was taking photos of stuff that seemed weird, I kind of get that. And then, you can fully see in those shots that he did, in some of the reflections, that nobody else is there other than Nick. So, Nick, you done goofed. <laughs> Everyone could see right through you. Pe obviously, you're not showing everything completely, but anybody who can close up a shot and fully see every bit in detail can see you took the photo in an empty room. So, who are you kidding? Mm, I eat. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, he's not fooling anyone. He's dumb AF, and Stephanie is standing up to her abuser. Standing up, doing charity work. This girl is a cinnamon roll. And, you know, I think that's what I'm going to title this video. Stephanie Sue, you are a cinnamon roll. A strong one at that, was like, no joke. This girl, despite being super pure... Stood up for herself. I never stood up to the people who abused me. I just kind of stopped talking to them. I never went up straight to them and said, I'm not cool with the way you treated me. And I would have to say, St Stephanie is definitely an inspiration for a lot of girls. And a lot of people who just have been abused. She's a very sweet person. And she shows that you can still be good and still get the message out there that you were not cool with this stuff. I wish that I had done what she had done to my abusers, but to be honest, I think it's kind of good just to be away from them. Because, like, they, they will probably just try to hook me back in, and I'm weak when it comes to that stuff. I... <sighs> okay, so I forgive people way too easily. Mm. This is super spicy too, because I put chili, um, chili oil <laughs> and pepper. So I'm actually feeling the uh, the heat coming up too. I thought like since we were going for the whole hot mukbang thing, that's what I would eat. <laughs> but not gonna lie, I don't know how they do this. I don't. <laughs> I, I'm guessing with all the editing, it probably looks like a shorter amount of time, and they're just doing this over time. But goddamn. Like, I'm probably not going to eat anything till maybe later in the day. <laughs> the oil made it slip. Oh, it's slipping again! Ow! Oh! <laughs> but yeah. Or, yeah, I, I already have a different uh, name in mind for my video, but... I would have to say definitely, Steph, you are an inspiration to people. And I could never be more proud of you. Maybe someday I'll stand up to the people who hurt me. And I will get that big sense of justice. But for now, looking at other people doing 
basically the best that they can is amazing. I'm going to make an attempt to eat this. Like this massive amount of ramen. <laughs> I might just eat it over time, like, no joke, and the, and the video, because it's too much ramen. I, seriously, I look at those videos and I think, how do these people eat so much food? <laughs> but yeah, like, like I said before, I'm not exactly into the community, but I am into somebody standing up for who, what they believe in, and... <laughs> At the end of the day, that is amazing. <laughs> One more big bite before I end this video, okay? Big bite! Ow. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Goodbye. Mwah.